Hi ladies, I'm gonna do the demos today on our February flowers. Make sure you've got out your Zig Writer. Um, you're gonna need your Q-tips and also toothpick. We're gonna to be needing our Sunburst Glitter Glue and the white paint, whichever one you choose to use. All right, anytime we're doing something that's involving chalk, um, which I didn't show that, so you need your chalk too. You gotta make sure that you're going to do your pen first. So we're gonna start doodling with our Zig Writer. And it's important that you really try to be free flowing with this. Try not to have any sharp edges. And where your hand stops, just pick it up and put a few dots. Go around, keep it real loose and flowy. Keep turning it for myself. Okay, I'm gonna add a few more dots, just kind of random, so they're not always exactly where I've stopped. And then we're gonna make some veining um, coming out from the petals. So just like a little V, an upside down V, depending on how your flower is, is all that we're making. And then we're gonna go back and add just a few extras, just a little bit more like that. Not one on every one. And then we've got our dotting that we're gonna do. You should be holding your pen straight up and down. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm holding my pen at an angle. Don't do that. Try to do it a little bit right straight up and down. All right, after we've got a few of the dots on there, we're gonna switch to the fat end of our Zig Writer. And we're gonna do it real heavy where the veining is. A lot of times I tell you guys to skip around so you're not being too, um, like perfect and you're getting three dots here, two there. And I would really recommend that, especially if you're new to doing the whole dotting thing. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. So we're gonna set that aside and we're going to do the inside of the flower here. This one is gonna get covered up. So I'm just gonna do, it's gonna get covered up by a black circle. I'm just gonna do an edge around there and I'm just doing lines out of those little sh jagged blue things that are part of the center of the flower. And if I knew a lot about flowers, like I think it's a stamen or a stamen, I can't remember exactly what it's called. I'd be able to tell you the right terminology, but I don't. So I'm just gonna make it up as I go along. All right, there's that. So we're gonna take this and I'm gonna put adhesive on it and when I did that I did like a little bend to the ends of these to give them a little bit of movement and then we're gonna put it right in the flower each one can be a little bit differently spaced so maybe the three will be on that side depending on what flower you're doing oh wait we don't want to do that I'm so sorry we're gonna do our chalk first. So let's go through and doodle everything, and then we'll do the chalk. I'm getting way ahead of myself. All right, so we're gonna do the little orange guys here, and you're gonna make individual petals with these orange guys. Don't worry about the dotting right now, just try to do like individual petals, like that. Okay. Now we'll go back and we'll do some dotting. And then we're gonna color the stem black. So let's get our thick end. And we're gonna start by just kind of flicking towards the top here. And then color that whole stem black. So it looks more like a twig. We'll do a couple of big ones, just where we've already got some dotting. Okay, maybe a little random ones there. That's good for that one. Let's set it aside to dry. And then we have last our two different stems, one with three petals, one with two. 
start with your thin end. We're gonna start, keep it real flowy. And if you have a big space like that, then that's definitely where I like to do my dotting. And then give it a little stem in the middle. One line, because this is so thin, down the middle. I was only doing like one side or the other, keeping it real heavy with my dots. Okay, perfect. We'll set that aside and do the last one. And I always move my pieces around to what's comfortable for me. See how I'm not really moving my hand? I'm just moving my actual piece of paper. Okay, let's dot it up. Let's do one heavy side on each one. Do the other end. Perfect. Okay, let's do the chalk. We'll do the greens first. So whatever your darkest green is and your medium, your medium green, we're just gonna highlight right where our dotting is. And then I've got a little bit darker color, just kind of going back in. And then I wanna use black. And I could brush this all off as I'm doing it, but I know what I'm doing or the look that I'm going for so I'm just adding it and now I'm going to blend it since it's leaves if it was flowers I probably do it individually all right so there is our petals um, this little guy I didn't do anything on I just kind of did some um, I didn't do any color I only did a little bit of black closest to where we did the zig rider so I just kind of put that right in there to shade it and then clean it off. And that's it for this one. And now we're gonna go and we're gonna get one of our medium blues, our dark blue, and we're gonna start by doing the inside of the flower wherever you've put that veining and kind of filling it in. And then blend. Let's go back with a darker color. And we'll go right over top of them. And then I want to do the little curves in the flower. So I'm going to take that dark color and I'm just going to do a little bit of curve in the flower. And then let's clean that up with our cotton ball. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now I'm going to do black in the inside. I like to add a lot of black. I'm going to do it on the outer edges of where that blue is. And then in the middle. Let's clean that up a little. I'm going to add a little bit of black to these ends to make them darker. Give it a little bit of dimension there. Perfect. Now we're gonna assemble. Put adhesive on this little guy. Make sure they're inside the flowers, but you know, you can move it all around. And then I like to give a little bit of motion to my flower, a little bit of movement by just bending a petal up a little bit. And then from here, we need to do our white paint. And then we're going to do our glitter. So we're gonna open up our paint and first add your black center. And I did put a little bit of chalk on this one. I did white. So I used white chalk and I put a nice little highlight on an edge. Okay, that's it. And then we're gonna go back with our paint. Wherever you did the white highlight, you're gonna do a little line. And then once you've done with the line, you go back in and do the dotting. 
and then I dot where the veining is. Doesn't have to be on every single one. And then also along these edges wherever there's a lot. I'm only gonna put it on, I think, three on this one. Oh, I just smushed it. Don't do that. That's okay though. Because I'm gonna go back in, I'm gonna make that circle. And then when I use the glitter glue, I'll just put it heavy there. So we did do white dotting also on these. When I make these flowers, I always assemble my page and then I do the glitter and I do the white um, highlighting. So then like what I just did by putting my finger in it, I, I, that wouldn't happen because it's glued down and I'm not trying to hold it. So I really recommend that, assemble the whole page, you know, make sure your chalking and your doodling is done. But when you go to do the white highlighting and you go to do the glitter glue, I would assemble the flowers onto the page prior to doing it. So now, last but not least, let's take care of the glitter glue. I didn't put any on the leaves, so we don't have to worry about that. We're gonna grab our sunburst glitter glue, and we're gonna go, I would like this white to be dry, but for the case of this video, I can't do that. We're gonna go right in between, heavy, heavy, on the edges too, just a little bit, not every edge, and then we're going to do the inside of the flower. And then we're gonna go over wherever we did that white paint, kind of real heavy. And I'm putting a lot more right there since that's where I made my mistakes. You know, mistakes turn into something you gotta embellish a slightly different. Okay, and that's gonna be pretty much it for these flowers. They just need to dry. Let me put them on a different sheet of paper just so you guys can see them all cleaned up. And then when we go to assemble our flowers, we're just tucking and placing. I mean, look how pretty that is. Just a little bit of chalk, Zig Writer, white paint, and yellow glitter glue. Goes a long way.